Hey everyone, my name is Lane Rocks and you've just tuned in to Rocks Manor. Alright, so if you saw my first video on types of cloth diapers, and that's a dog. Mo? Is that Mo? Of course it's Mo. Uh, <laughs> this is Mo. Hey, you sit. You good boy. You sit. Oh, great. Now the other one comes. Alright, yeah, we got two dogs. Anyway, so, um, I can't pet you guys. Go away. Uh, <laughs> the video I did previously was about six different types of cloth diapers, and uh, this is the one I'm going to talk about washing. So, um, again, there was two different kind of like communities of diapers there. One was very easy to wash and keep clean, which is what uh, my experience is in, is this kind of like grouping of diapers. Uh, but they had a little bit of a learning curve. The other three were um, kind of the most similar to disposable diapers. However, there definitely was issues with trying to get them clean and whatnot. So um, people do it every day though, as far as uh, they're able to wash those diapers and they're proficient at or whatever. Um, but the bulk of my experience has definitely been here on this side. And uh, that's kind of really where most of my experience is coming from. So I'll go ahead and jump right in and tell you that when you first order diapers, when they first come in, um, if they are on this section over here, right, the pre-folds, the flats, and the workhorses, um, generally you're going to buy them in a natural material, which is going to be cotton. Cotton is king. Cotton loves to be abused. Cotton loves hot water. Cotton loves high heat. Cotton loves bleach. Cotton loves like anything that you can do to it that is going to um, get it clean, that is going to uh, make it a better uh, type of diapering material. I know that sounds crazy because I'm talking about an inanimate object, <laughs> but cotton likes the abuse, right? So when cotton, uh, when your diapers first come in, your cotton diapers first come in, they actually are not absorbent, believe it or not. And uh, this is on the floor, so I will grab this. Can you, why are you guys dancing? Can you all go? Okay, stop. Yes, okay, I'll pet you both, goodbye. This is what happens, you pet them and they don't go away. <laughs> So this is a dozen, believe it or not, this is a dozen uh, pre-fold diapers. And the reason why I say believe it or not is if you look, you, could you imagine there's 12 in there when one, right, that, that I, I currently use is like this. You see how kind of pillowy you can see like the ripples in it. Um, it's really bright by this window, so I don't know where I got to be at. But um, it's very like pillowy and rippled and like wonderfully soft. These diapers, when they first come in, are not like that yet. What you need to do is prepare them. And what does cotton love? Cotton loves heat and abuse. So basically, you wash them four to five times and dry them as well. You wash, you dry, you wash, you dry, you wash, you dry. And as it's exposed to that heat, it pillows up, it becomes more absorbent, it's softer, and it is ready for use on your baby. So you would wash anything before you put it on your baby, right? So even if you're using an all-in-one system or an all-in-two or whatever the other ones are that I told you are a little more difficult to wash, you would wash that one time before you put it on your baby too, right? Because you're washing anything before you put it on your baby, especially a delicate uh, region, such as between the legs. Um, but for cotton diapers, but it's totally worth it, there is some prepping you have to do up front. And it's obviously not difficult because all you're doing is a multitude of washes, putting them in the dryer, back and forth, and now they're ready to go, okay? So that's your cotton diapers. That's how you prepare your cotton diapers. And then of course you prepare your uh, regular, your, you're not regular, your, um, your other diapers, the, uh, if you decided to use the all-in-ones, the uh, all-in-twos, et cetera. Uh, you would just prepare those by washing them one time. You're just getting off whatever came in transit, came from the factory or whatever. So moving on, with the pre-folds, with the flats, with the workhorses, you need a cover, right? Which we talked about the other day. The interior is a polyurethane laminate, a PUL, or also um, sometimes you're made out of a TPU, right? So it's, it's uh, protective here on the inside. It's got a waterproof interior and like a soft outer shell. These only need to be washed once because they are not something that is absorbent. They are the protective part of that three things I said every diaper needs. So these just need to be rinsed before you use them. The only thing you really have to prepare are your flats or your prefolds or your um, fitteds or otherwise known as workhorses. So in years past and generations past, it was always thought that the best way to uh, have your diapers after they've been used is you put them in a wet pail. Nobody really uses wet pails anymore, and it's for a handful of reasons. One, it's not safe. Um, a wet pail, just to kind of step back a second, is uh, a bucket of water that you keep in the washroom or in the laundry room or wherever that after a, a diaper uh, you know, is soiled, you put it in the wet pail and you let it sit in there 
I'm just gonna let that fall. You let it sit in there in the water, right? And then uh, when you do your laundry two, three days later, you take everything out of there and you put it in the washer. Or you, you treat it however you're gonna treat it. And that is not recommended anymore because I think I mentioned it's just not safe, right? You're not gonna have a large body of water or even a, a small medium body of water, a bucket, something that is exposed for children that could possibly fall into and drown. But also, time has told that the best thing for a stinky diaper, uh, like let's, in particular, let's say the low level pee, right? The best thing for urine, 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 <laughs> the best thing for urine is air. What? I know, when I first read that a couple years ago, I was like, that's some weird crunchy stuff. <laughs> like, I would want to put it inside of something and close it until I'm washing it. No, the best thing is exposure to air. So whenever I have a wet diaper, I just make sure that the absorbent part, like I take the, the cover and I kind of toss it in the bin because that's not actually holding any liquid. I uh, take my absorbent part and I put it in my bin to where it's kind of like open and I leave the lid up. I do not close the lid. I never close the lid to my bin. Uh, I rarely have any reason to want to close the bin, um, but I, I leave the bin open because what the diaper needs is air. And I know that sounds like crazy, crunchy, like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you were so granola. But no, it's totally true. Um, so yeah, so this is a liner. This is a bin liner. You would put this inside of your trash can, right? This is actually a really small one. So you'd have it like for a trash can upstairs or something like that, or um, in a bathroom. But for like, you'd have a really big one, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, this bin liner goes in there and it is made of the same material as the cover, right? That polyurethane laminate or the TPU. The exterior is soft for no reason other than they're just using the same fabric that, um, that diaper covers were made out of. This sits in your bin with the lid open. And by bin, I usually mean trash can, right? The lid open, you just toss the diaper in there. The first thing I do usually, I take the, the diaper cover, kind of toss it in because it doesn't need anything special. And then I take the, di the actual diaper itself and I may kind of like have it sort of draped over the side because the entire thing usually is not wet. Like the backside's like still dry or whatever because it's done so well at absorbing in the interior that the other parts are not like normally wet. So I'll hang the dry part over the side of the, the bin and then uh, this has all this exposure to air. So uh, within a couple of hours, it's like completely dry anyway. And then a couple of days later when I wash it, you would have thought that I just washed it immediately after it had been used. So, so with a diaper that is a more complete system, right? Uh, you would do the same. You'd want the, that to have the air, right? But also remember like air is only drying out so much when you still have this this part here, it's like the air is not like able to get all the way through, I guess. So that's where you're gonna have your issues with washing too. But yes, so with these diapers, right, uh, I, you would just wash these normally as far as what I'm gonna tell you too. But these first, because they're cotton, they love what? Abuse and heat. So whether you're washing these diapers or you're washing these diapers, the first wash I do is on cold because the purpose of the first wash is to get away any yuckies, right? So you're trying to wash out most of the urine that has probably like somewhat dried in there, uh, any poop, like whatever, which we'll talk about poop here in a minute, but um, you're washing it first with cold, right? So that cycle's done. Now I open the lid, I put my Tide in, I go psh, because my Tide hangs over the washing machine, I go psh. Tide goes in, close the lid, change everything to hot, wash. Cotton loves the heat. These love the heat too, but remember, depending on the temperature of your water, you don't want to damage this, right? Which means at this point, I'm not actually washing this necessarily either. Um, I'm hoping this makes sense because I feel like I might be getting a little out of order here, but uh, first wash is always cold, no matter what type of diapers. Second wash, always gonna be hot. Now mind you, since this is not actually absorbing anything, it doesn't need a ton of washing. So usually, I just put this in, after all the diapers are clean, and I do an additional rinse. I put this in, let it fill up, let it spin, okay, it's done. That's it. These diapers I take, and uh, this one in particular, I don't know why I grabbed this one, um, the ones that I like are uh, Sweet Pea, diaper company, they have a little loop on the back. So I take it and you'll see that in my laundry room in a minute. Um, I take that and I hang it up and it dries within an hour. Uh, these on the other hand, they need about an hour in the dryer and they're nice and hot and fluffy and warm and they come out perfectly fine. Generally, all I ever use is Tide. On occasion, I will use baking soda and there's two times I'll use baking soda. One, if I have something really stinky that I'm like, uh, that it's got a little bit of poop left on it before I put it in the diaper pail, I'll take a scoop of um, baby powder or uh, baking soda and I sprinkle it into my uh, diaper bin or sometimes I'll put a cup of it in my wash. That's it, in the hot wash, that's it. Um, occasionally I may use bleach, like a little like quarter cup of bleach. 
Uh, on occasion, I'll use vinegar. Vinegar is a good substitute or uh, it's, a, it's a, a softener. A lot of people actually use that in their general clothes, which is crazy to think of um, if you're not used to kind of like alternate uh, cleaning methods for your clothing. But um, you put vinegar in and it makes them like super soft at the end. So I don't recommend doing that every time, maybe like every couple of diaper loads, like every other week or something like that. But um, yeah, that's all I use is uh, baking soda on occasion, vinegar on occasion, bleach on occasion, but pretty much every single time I just use Tide. Regular, non-fancy, crazy Tide, just liquid Tide. Uh, yeah, and that was a recommendation that I got from Green Mountain Diapers who everything that I've gotten from them as far as like knowledge and information, it's like however to do things the simplest and easiest that they as a company, like as a family, have always done. So I've just, I don't know, I think they're fantastic. So let's see, so I'm thinking, well, poop, let's talk about poop, that's always the big one, right? So the biggest question I always get from people, I think I've probably said about like seven or eight different things now, but the biggest question I get is like, how do you deal with all the poop? Whether your baby is in cloth diapers or if your baby is in disposable diapers, you have to deal with poop no matter what. The only difference, like for one, you're cleaning the baby, you're wiping the baby off, you're doing whatever with the baby, right? Either you're throwing the whole thing away afterwards or you're putting it somewhere else. Now, a lot of people think that you need to like, okay, the baby pooped, okay, fine, I need to go rinse this off, I gotta go plop it, I gotta do whatever. When a baby is tiny and newborn, um, before the baby's like eating any like solid foods, their poop is pretty much liquid, <laughs> like it really is. So you can do one of two things. Either one, you can rinse it out, which people will have, it's a very easy attachment to put on your toilet. Um, think of like the hose that comes off of your um, sink. You attach one of those to the back of the toilet. I had one of those for the longest times. You take the diaper, you kind of put it down a little bit, you spray it off, or you can kind of hang it upside down and go underneath and you flip it back in and you just put it in the, the thing, because again, in your diaper pail, this needs air, right? So you just open it up. Or you do what I did. I pretty much barely ever rinsed off the poop. I know. You're like, oh, gross, gross. It's 2020. How good do you think your washing machines are? <laughs> I promise you, they're good. They're good. Uh, and when they're in your earlier stages, those, um, those diaper, those poops are usually very liquid, very easy to wash out. When they become a toddler or a little bit bigger, like the six-month range when people start doing uh, solids, their poop composition definitely changes, but in a good way because it becomes a little more solid-ish and it's a heck of a lot easier to flip over just into the toilet. So, yes, you're not, you're not keeping the poop to throw away in the toilet when you have it disposable. You're just wiping it all up and whatever you throw out the trash or your diaper genie or whatever. Um, so, yeah, in a sense, you're dealing with extra poop that you're kind of flipping it in the toilet if the baby e has even pooped. I mean... Somebody named like Janet or Sue or Barb or I don't know, Linda is going to say, my baby pooped all the time, like blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's great. That's great. My baby did not poop all the time. And most parents I talk to, their baby might poop once or twice a day, right? I know there's different uh, situations to be in. Kid's sick, has diarrhea, like has whatever. Okay, fine. But you're not, you're literally not dealing with poop as much as you think you are. So uh, another thing is like, well, I, I couldn't imagine like, washing something and then using it again with the poop. No, I totally get that, but how many times has your kid had a blowout in a, in a outfit, right? Or clothes or, or shorts and a t-shirt and you washed it and you they wore it again, right? And I guarantee you didn't wash it two or three times like we do when we take care of cloth diapers. So, I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm rambling here at this point and what I really wanted to do was take you guys on a field trip to um, my laundry room. So if you're ready, let's go do that. So you guys can actually see my co-host today named Bob. Yeah. All right. Say hi, Bob. Hi. All right. So we are going to go. I'm hoping that this kind of like comes out okay. Oh, look. There's my treadmill. We are going to go this way. I'm going to take you to my laundry room just so this seems interesting. Oh, look how interesting it is to walk through my home. Here's my kitchen. All right. Let's see. Yeah, Mo. Yeah. You want to go outside? You want to go outside? So. My laundry room. Washer, wait, washer, oh, yeah. <laughs> washer, dryer, okay? So, diaper pail, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a trash can, that's it. I have these, um, these little clips here so that sometimes I might clip a diaper on so it's kind of hanging. Uh, if the lid happens to fall, I also have those clips there so that the air still does get in because every once in a while, like if I'm hanging a diaper on here, um, the weight or something like that, you know, might pull it down, but that way the moisture and stuff is not being completely trapped in there. I still have some type of, um, air. This is an extra diaper bag or a, a pail bag that I don't really need because what I do is I end up taking, 
this whole thing in here. Well, it's not that I don't actually need it. We'll see. All right. I'm doing this with one hand, so. See how all of those go in there? Usually for like the first round, I'll take the covers out real quick. Here's another cover, all right? Now, here's another cover. Do notice in here that there are baby wipes. This is disposable. These are not disposable. These are um, cloth baby wipes, what I think, I think I talked about in the last video. If not, I'll talk about it here in a minute. Um, but yeah, so all this goes in here. Uh, let's go permanent press, hot. Let's go to cold, so a level heavy. Free soap. I really don't know what Aqua Jet is. I've been saying for a very long time that I was going to Google that and I haven't yet. All right, start. So that's it for this round, right? When this is done, I end up taking the, um, the lid up. I open the lid up. I squirt in some Tide. That's it. And then I change. I do the same exact thing. I just put it on hot. And I just realized this is probably like flipping it around so you can't actually read anything. But uh, that's it. The second one I do. And then eventually, after it's done on that second wash, I'll go down to just rinse and spin. Right? Or maybe sometimes I'll do a quick wash. I mean, there's really not much difference between the two. Uh, and that is when I'll put my covers in. That's it. And then when it's time for my covers to come out, I legitimately take here, hang them like four or five deep. Not a big deal. Put the uh, cotton dryer or cotton diapers into the dryer, dry them on high. Kyle says like it's trying to figure out the, the light here. And that's it. Now I did mention a second ago that these items here, uh, let's see, we've got Tide, right? I occasionally use some baking soda. I occasionally may use some vinegar. I occasionally may use some bleach. All right, so one more question I usually get is about wipes, um, disposable wipes, cloth wipes, whatnot. So uh, these are cloth wipes. These, by the way, you'll be pleasant to know, require no um, prepping other than washing them one time because obviously you're getting factory and like transit stuff off. So um, I love cloth wipes. One side is very soft, kind of like a velour, kind of like soft feel. The other side is more like a washcloth. So these are double-sided. These are again from Green Mountain Diapers. Um, these are fantastic. With Veronica, the first kid that I cloth diapered, I would put them in here and then I kept them wet. Uh, I have kind of a solution that I put together that I can do a quick video on here soon. But basically what it comes down to is like some type of oil base, which may be like sunflower oil, olive oil, whatever, something that's like a liquidy type of oil. Um, let's see, Dr. Bronner's, which is Castile soap and um, water, right? So sometimes I just use plain water, but with her, I kept them in here. I had a, a multitude of these around the house and uh, yeah, whenever she, you know, needed wipes or whatever, I used these and these were great. Threw them in whatever the cloth diaper situation was. I put them in the diaper pail, right? So uh, that's how I did it with her. With Zach, um, I had found that if you put the solution in here, which could just be plain water, or it could be the solution I just discussed, which was um, a little bit of oil and water and then the Castile soap, shook it up. And then individually, and it's all happening very quick, um, individually squirt this on the wipe and did it with the baby. Like, um, or the baby's laying there, right? <laughs> no joke. Because you got the diaper cover laying there, you've got the absorbent part, the water's not getting anywhere. It was legitimately the best way to clean a baby. Now, you may say like, I don't know, this, this cloth wipes things too. I mean, I don't know. It is not all or none, right? Um, there are times now, especially with Zach, um, I love disposable wipes and what do I do with them? I throw them in the diaper bin and then whenever they go in the wash, they come out, they clean, <laughs> clean I pluck them out and I throw them. I throw them in the trash bin at that point. Like it's really not a big deal. So that's your two options. You could do cloth wipes um, with either the peri bottle that is the separate liquid or you could put them in here. Uh, and just keep a stack of them around the house, or you could do the disposable wipes. Did I already say disposable wipes? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for tuning in for today's video. If I didn't cover something, uh, let me know down in the comments. I have a couple more videos planned coming out, and uh, otherwise, I guess I hope you have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. That's my dog barking. Can you hear it? They're outside now. All right, bye.